difference. So the parabolic path of the mouse jumping. Look at here it is. I don't want some Picasso drawing on your notes, just a simple little parabola. Uh, the y-axis represents the height in feet. The x-axis represents the horizontal distance in feet. Stay with me, gentlemen. Here we go. So the mouse jumping and running away from a cat, when he jumps, that's his horizontal distance. Thank you, Rodriguez. The question is, look at the parabolic path of him jumping is described by a quadratic function. Yes. I'll be right there. Just put it down. You're awesome. Thank you, Daniel. Notice every point in the, of the position of the mouse is described by the quadratic function. They want to know, um, can the mouse jump over a fence that is three feet high? The cat's after the mouse. The mouse has to jump over the fence that's three feet high. With this parabolic pathway, his jump, can we tell whether he actually makes it over the fence or not is the question. In other words, is the vertical distance from here to here more than three feet? Because that's how high the fence is. Everything I've taught you up to this point will allow you to answer this mathematically. We don't have to guess. Everything I've taught you up to this point enables you to do this. Let me answer the question on the phone and we'll come back to this. Hold up. Monday we practice that on 2.6 notes to find the vertex, the vertex formula. By the way, after this example, take good notes. You're going to go to 53, Medina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take good notes on here, please. The vertex. Uh, what's the formula for vertex? And someone please tell me before I cry. What's the x coordinate? Thank you, Ms. Pavia. Look at there's your x coordinate, and then the y coordinate is a function at negative b over 2a, right? We did this last week and on the, on Monday. So if I want to know how high the mouse is jumping, the highest point of the mouse pathway of jumping is right here at the vertex. I'm going to look at that y coordinate to see if it's sufficiently high enough to, to leap over the three foot fence. Simple as that. Let's do it. Here's our function. Let's compare it with standard form. Standard form of a function from section 2.5 notes. I'll write 2.5 in case you guys forget. Some of you are like in desperate need of organizing your notes. Section 2.5, the standard form, actually 2.6. Section 2.6 says, and someone besides Padilla give me the standard form, f of x equals what? Someone besides Padilla? Standard form, hit it in the photos. Hit it. Cool. Next. Close. No, BX. BX. You think in a vertex form? Let's see. Okay, let's compare that. Let's compare that with what they gave us. Thank you, Rodrigo. I got you. That's a good way to make it up. Watch this. Here's the function. Let me let me compare that with the mouse jumping. The mouse jumping is negative, look at negative 0.2x squared plus 1.3x. There's no C. Zero. zero. C is zero there. So I got my A is negative 0 0.2. I got my B is negative 1 point, or 1.3. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's plug and chug into our vertex formula. I use black for the Raiders since they're going to win the Super Bowl, right, Gonzalez? Negative B means negative 1 times B. B in this case is 1.3, all over 2A. 2 times A, that's going to be 2 times negative 1.2. Negative 0.2. Don't be afraid of decimals because we have calculators now. It's, it's uh, 2018. You can use calculators. Sort of, kind of, yes. Yes. 
Uh, yeah. You may. That was on YouTube, by the way. Sorry, sir. Let's do it. All right, here we go. 1.3 times 1. Let me talk, please. Thanks. That's going to be negative 1.3. 2 times 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times 2 is going to be a negative 0.4. So far, so good. With my calculator, negative divided by negative is a what? Positive something, huh? What is that something? Let me punch that puppy in. 1.3 divided by 0.4. I've got 3.25, ladies and gents. What does 3.25 represent here in this case with the mouse? Can someone tell me? What's 3.25 represent here? The x what? And what does the x-axis represent? Chickens? What does it mean? The x-axis. Gonzalez? It's the horizontal distance. So from here to here, at the highest point, Medina, when the, when the mouse is at the highest point of his leap, he's 3.25 feet away from where he jumped from. This is 3.25 feet right here. Now we're going to figure out how high, and we're going to see if he's lunch, lunch time. We're going to see if we can leap higher than three, three feet. Right, Reyes? Yeah. Reyes. I'm not going to give a good report. I already asked about that. The, the phone, the earphone. You keep putting them on and then you're, then you're paying attention. Let's do this. Uh, now, the function at the vertex. How high is that mouse? Let's check it out. Here we go. Wherever I see X, I'm replacing with 3.25. A lot of decimals, no, but don't worry. Here we go. I'll bring it over here. The function at 3.25 is negative... 0 0.2 times 3.25, right? Let me move all this garbage to the right of the room here. So wherever I see x, I'm replacing with negative or 3.25 plus 1.3 times 3.25. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the mouse makes it. Here we go. 3.25 times 0.2. Then we'll have 3.25 times 0.2. I got negative 0.65. Good deal, good deal. I forgot the squaring, but yeah, you saved the day. I think so. 3.25 times 3.25. I get this nasty decimal. I'm going to keep all the decimals. I'm not going to round it right now because the, the, the mouse's life is on the line, so I'm going to keep all the decimals right now. If I start rounding, we're not going to get exact answers. But if you look at 10.5625, I took 3.25 times the cell. I squared it and became that. Keep all the decimals till you're done. The mouse's life is on the line. We've got to make sure he, he lives. So now I'm going to multiply these puppies. So times 0.2. I get negative 2.1125 plus over here I got 1.3 times 2.25. Again, you're using calculators here. What up? 4.225. Look at this. Positive plus a negative. I'm going to subtract under my calculator. Let's see what happens. 4.225 minus 2.1125 is a positive 2.1125. There's my y coordinate. 2.1125. Is the mouse dinner or is he not? The mouse is dinner. Look at the vertical distance is 2.1 feet. He didn't make the fence of 3 feet. He's only jumping 2.1 feet approximately. The mouse is dinner. So using the math I already taught, you were able to do this word problem. Notice that. You may go to 53. On your note, on your warm-up, we're going to write down one more word problem. That's it. That's the notes for the day.
Okay, one more word problem. This one has to do with soccer for soccer fans. Go and write the write the word problem down so you have something to refer to on Wednesdays or Fridays uh, quiz because you'll have a word problem on Fridays quiz. Write this down. So kick one is in blue. Kick two is in green. How are we going to figure out how far Thotis' second kick is? Free assign the pass. Solve for y. It is solve for y is all that. Good try though. Solve for x. At what point? At what point? A. Good try. Free assignment pass. Give me a game plan. Okay. Reassignment pass. Multiply the x's to the thing. Oh, you mean to distribute here? And then here. Okay, after I after I get it in the standard form, then what? That's still not going to give you a distance from here to here, because yeah. I like that idea though. Let's get it in standard form, because right now it's a not a standard form. But once I get it in standard form, I want the game plan of how to figure out hold up, how to figure out Thotis' second kick, how far it's gonna land. In other words, how do I figure out the coordinates here? X and Y. Okay, wait, so find out the X and Y here? Okay, so once I know vertex, once I know the vertex, how is that going to give me that point, though? Let's go, let's go Gonzalez and Via. Gonzalez. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Find the axis of symmetry, so that'll be x equals some number, and then what? Woo, you're there, man. Via, save the day. Axis of symmetry is already half of what it is. Yeah, most of it. Multiply what by two? Please yeah. be specific. What? The what? Wait, the what? He's got the four in it. Don't let that raise your hand. You guys want some? Okay. So, Via, multiply what by two? What do we get from the Reyes, you stock it. Thank you. Multiply the x from what you would get from the vertex. Okay, so look at So, from here to here is the x coordinate of the vertex. That's the distance of. The pelota that Torres just kicked, that's halfway because axis of symmetry by definition splits everything in half. So if I can figure out this distance of x, the x quarter of the vertex, multiply that puppy by 2, and you'll get the full distance of where the ball lands. Because this distance is the same as that distance because the axis of symmetry. That's why I said you're very close to those. That's extra stand for that one, though. Free to sign and pass. Talk to me later, Via. So, let's find the vertex. Let's find the x corner of that vertex. Watch this. Let's get into standard form first. You're writing all this down here. So, first things first, go to write get into standard form. Get into standard form. I'm going to do one example, we're done. So, chill, don't complain. Huh? Yeah. Uh oh. Medina, I believe in you. Let's do it. All right, so let me, uh, y. So y equals x times 0 0.4 minus 0 0.008x. Let's get this puppy in standard form, like Badia said earlier. So I'm going to distribute the x here and the x here. Let's see what happens. Y equals uh, 0 0.4x minus negative 0 0.008x squared. We don't, we don't have to be afraid of decimals because we have calculators now, so it's going to be okay. 
But the question is, is that in standard form? Close. There's no C here, but it's still not in standard form. Why? X squared term has to be in the front. Good job, Rodriguez. I know, but you're paying attention. You've got to be here, man. Forget that. It's just, it's just a pounding. Oh, my bad. Sorry. My bad. Negative point zero zero eight x squared plus zero point four x. Now it's in standard form. Excellent for the F. In other words, <laughs> a x squared plus b x. You should call them. Yeah, call them. Okay, I'll right a x squared plus b x. We're ready to rock and roll now. Here we go. Let's find the vertex, like Via said. We know what our a is. We know what our b is. Let's see, a is uh, negative point zero zero eight. B is point four. Watch this now. Vertex negative b over two a. Should I have that memorized by now. I trust. Negative b is negative 1 times b. In this case, b is going to be a point 4. It's bx. Remember, I'm comparing this to ax squared plus bx plus c. There is no c. c is 0. So I'm putting the b for the formula. It's going to be point zero 0.04. OK? All over 2a. Check this out. 2 times a. A is point, negative point zero zero eight. There's my x coordinate. I'll let the calculator do the work. Don't be afraid of decimals. It's going to be okay. Numerator, negative one times anything is going to be the negative something. So it's going to be a negative zero point four on top. And I got point zero zero eight times two. That's a negative now. Watch this. Point zero one six. I'll call real for that. Give me a second. Watch this. What's a negative out of my negative? Positive. So 0.4 divided by 0 0.016. 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.016 is 25. 25 what? Chickens, horses, or termites? Close. <laughs> What does 25 represent here, please? Of? Of the ball up to this point. So when thought has kicked the ball the second time, this is 25 feet. Cool. That means it landed how? 50. 50 feet. You're the man, Reyes. So this is that. Look at this. This is 50 feet. The y coordinate is obviously 0 because of the x axis. So we already know the first, the answer to that was the first or second question. Which kick travels farther before hitting the ground? Well, obviously, kick so number. X equals 50? Well, no, X, X equals 50 at the X intercept right here. Right. But at the vertex, X is 25. So look, I'm just answering the first question. Though, watch, look, Thotis. Which kick travels farther before hitting the ground? Kick number two does. Because kick one traveled 20 yards, kick two traveled 50 yards. Now, what the second question though is, which one travels higher? What's, what's got a bigger, a greater vertical distance? Well, let's plug in now. Okay, we're going to plug in now our y coordinate. We got to find the y coordinate of the vertex of the second kick. We got the x coordinate. We got to figure out right here how high is it. So now you will put in standard form and then replace it with uh, time, right? exactly. What's the function at 25? Exactly. Actually, didn't work like that. Cool. I get the function at 25. Wherever I saw x, I replaced it with 25 feet. 25 feet. So, 25 times 25 is 625. So, 625 times 0 0.008. 
is a negative 5 here. This becomes negative 5. Plus 0.4 times 25. Then the calculator do the work is 10. It's exactly 10. What's negative 5 plus 10? 5. 5. So even though it's a, here's a vertex, 25, 5. That means a vertical distance of Thotis' second kick. Can you go back down? Sure. This is five feet. How do you put ten? The ten was, Reyes, let me talk please. Point four times twenty-five became ten. Oh, okay. So Thotis' second kick was farther but lower. His first kick was Higher but shorter. Sure. I'm gonna call real soon. I apologize. <laughs>